Hello. I hope you are well. Welcome to another exciting lesson where we are going to discuss the different forces that act on frame structures. We saw earlier that frame structures are commonly used in buildings and bridges. Frame structures consist of interconnected structural motors that form a rigid framework, supporting loads and providing stability. Structures are made to withstand forces. These forces include shear force, which can also be said to be sliding force. There is also torsion, which is similar to twisting. You also have tension force, which is like pulling a member apart. Then lastly, we have compression or push forces. We will also discuss the importance of understanding forces acting on frame structures. A shear force is a force that slides one part of a structure past another. An example of shear force is forces acting parallel to a horizontal beam, trying to slide one part of the beam past another. If the weight on a hook is too heavy, the hook will break. The hook will fail due to a shear force. A shear force pulls a material in different directions. It forces one part of a structure to slide over or past another part of the structure. When you cut paper with scissors, the blades break the paper. One blade forces the paper upwards. The other blade forces the paper downwards. A torsion force is a force that turns a member in two different directions. Torsion force causes a twisting or rotating motion. Strong winds can cause beams on a bridge to twist. A torsion force is twisting one end of the beam in one direction and the other end in the opposite direction. A tension force is a force that pulls a member apart. The force that tends to stretch or elongate a material. The word tension comes from Latin, meaning to stretch. A force that is able to stretch or pull something apart is called a tensile force. Cables or ropes in a suspension bridge experience tension forces. Compression force is a force that pushes against a member. The force that tends to compress or shorten a material. Columns in a building experience compression forces from the weight of floors and roof. A force that is able to compress or squash something is called a compressive force. A pogo stick has a spring at the bottom end. When someone on a pogo stick falls towards the ground, his weight gives the effect of the spring being squashed. In fact, the spring is being contracted. Just before a boy touches the ground, the compression force is released. The recoil of the spring pushes the boy back into the air. Understanding structural members and the forces acting on them is crucial for safety. It helps prevent failures caused by poorly designed structures or unexpected forces. Engineers use this knowledge to design structures capable of withstanding specific loads, ensuring the safety and stability of buildings and other constructions. So proper identification of forces is important for safety and effective structural design. How would you identify forces acting on a frame structure? To do this you can follow the following steps. Visually inspect the structure to identify its components. Look for beams, columns, and braces that make up the frame. Consider the function of each structural member. Analyze the loads applied to the structure. Examine the direction and nature of the forces acting on each member. Determine whether the force is tension, compression, shear, or torsion. That concludes our lesson for today. Thanks for watching and let's meet next time.